gotten the biggest win of Hartford Athletics history. I wanted to say about the uh, teams, how are they doing right now? Yeah, I didn't want to say it before the game, but I did feel like someone, especially last week, I felt like when Real Monarchs were coming into town, I felt like we were going to beat someone, really beat them. And that just gave us a little bit more desire to um, to get out of the tracks. I actually thought the first 30 minutes we were terrible. And I would have never have thought that that, would have, that was going to be a similar game. And then something just clicked. Um, every time we got into the attacking third, we looked like we was going to score. And... I do believe that that's like a build-up of tension, if that makes sense. So I was really happy with the, with the, the final score. Can you talk about Danny Barrera's performance? No, I can't. He was, he was fantastic. He was fantastic. Um, his goal, where he drops the shoulder and puts it in off the post, is just elite level. So really happy with the skipper. Can you talk about his one-touch play too? There were a couple of yeah. moments where he sort of let the ball bounce and the defender was really caught up by the one touch. He yeah. created two goals out of it. And also the switch of play in the first goal. That's just something that a seasoned pro knows how to do. He knows how to just yeah. take the tension off the one side, and switch the play, and that created the goal there. Do you sort of talk about his, his play when he does that? Yeah, he's, Danny's really clever. Really clever, like, knows how to use his body, knows how to manipulate the opposition, knows how to create space. Danny was, listen, who would you give man of the match to tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's got to be Barrera. I thought Barrera was superb, but everyone to a man. Lara, big block. Big block down the bottom of the pitch. Um, everyone, I thought, were, you know, they were outstanding. I thought even the subs come on. We call them the game changers for a reason. Um, but Barrera was superb tonight. When you score from midfield, I guess you can say everything's working. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it just clicks. Sometimes it just clicks. I just said to Connor, like... <clears throat> Say that to him every time he scores. He won't score a better goal than that, and he does. David Beckham scored one like that years ago. I don't know if you remember it. So, hey, great vision, great bravery. Him taking that on shows you how the players feel about this club. They're brave to, to try things, so good for him. Please for him. When we spoke to you too, you said uh, last week you had a couple things to work on. Did you use that time to work on it? Did you see those results tonight? Yeah, there's, there's, there's things we need to improve on for sure. Areas we need to get better. Um, just felt like in their half we were we were so ruthless. That was the word we used all week. Be ruthless, reward yourself. So you know, we're... what does that mean to you to see that way that the fans have responded and the way the team has been playing? There's a, there's a certain energy here. Oh, I love it, love it. They're they're brilliant. Look at that. Look, they're, they are, they're brilliant. <clears throat> Not sure about the photo, but. <laughs> No, they're fantastic. That's what we do. We do it for them. You know, they are outstanding. They're outstanding, and you know, privileged to have them as our fans. You were a boxer tonight, Gary. Did you really lure them in with the counter punch every time they got forward? The, that left, straight left seemed to just just to back them down. It's a great analogy. Absolutely, <laughs> every time. Um, you know, we were ruthless. We we let them come onto us to create the space to go behind. Our principles with the ball were the same, but we, we knew we had to concede some possession to create those chances.